kicks off in the Oulun Energia Arena in Finland, of course, where else would it be? Karpatulu playing host to Grenoble, their first time in the CHL, and how will they fare against one of the top clubs? Well, things didn't go exactly as planned for Grenoble. Right off the bat, Jesse Pugliarvi, two minutes and 42 seconds into his return for the club, he gets the opener. A wicked slapper to boot. Not much that the netminder can do there. Horak did what he could, but in the end, it's not enough. Karpat on the power play, and they would continue to pepper the net of Horak all night long. This one coming from distance, but there's still some snap and a little bit of danger when that one comes flying at you that quickly. Dying moments of the first period. Would we get one more goal? Uh, how about it? Why not? Karpatolo up by two. From one of the younger players to one of the older, Janne Pesonen, 1939, the time of his tally. And number 20 makes some pay when it matters most. On to the second period of play. Grenoble on the power play. A chance for them to cut that deficit down to one. Not this time around. A beautiful stop, and I mean absolutely spectacular from Justus Anonen. Look at him rip that glove top shelf to deny the goal. And Karpat would not sit around. They are an aggressive team, but they did come up against a informed netminder at certain moments. Horak here with two stops, but look at that second one. Off the rush, another beautiful opportunity, and a showcase for our netminder once again. Horak with a tough stop. He had to read that shot or the shooter, doesn't matter. He's got the save. On to the third and final frame. Grenoble get themselves one on the board, and it's quite a ripper at that. Damien Fleury with the lone goal so far for Grenoble in their CHL debut. Another look at it from this angle. It doesn't get much prettier than that. The captain roofs it top shelf. That's pretty stuff. But in the end, they would need one more to tie it up. But Karpat would not allow them to get that easily. Another top stop from the netminder. Another look at it. As he doesn't really know where it is at first, but Anonen is up to the challenge regardless. Four minutes left, and that's the icing on the cake. Jakub Krejcik from the point, 55-17, the official time of his goal. It travels a long distance, and just like where Olu is, the Finns have come off with a victory in the opening game. Group E has a top spot for Karpatolu.